Oh, there is a place. There is always a place here in China where some of the good stuff lives. You don't need to look too far, searching for delicious, delicious, life-changing fusion waiting for you inside and outside of this whole side of town. Yes, oh yes, this side of town is magical, old and precious to the highs of many Chinese foodies. There is a smell, there is always a smell of food. There is a smell of good food. And down the streets, a long stretch of streets, an oasis of mind-blowing options, and there is always a place to find this stuff. Perfectly grilled beef on a stick, done right just for me. The rich had all grown richer while the poor all took a hit. And his friends were all in jail, and he lost all of his rights. And the people were divided, and the earth wasn't even fit for life. And he wanted to go back. But by then it was too late Because stupid followed evil And there was nowhere to escape Cause stupid followed evil Grab a large coke and rejoice is a sign of good fortune and an alley of interest and blend of the whole and the new. Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, not bad. Places like this is what I sign up for. It's why I imagine coming into China. In a city of 21 million people, and in the weekday and weekend, they come in in great numbers. They walk the streets, searching for some of the good stuff I still yet to discover. Because the options here are way too vast to process, and my Western mind struggles to comprehend. Oh, is this an enchanted spirit, a charming character, jaw-dropping, fascinated by every moves, character of the sweetest kingdom, a show of fine class where local morals and practical are unique from our western norms. And all of this excites me, honestly. Alright, come on, Greg, again. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Everything here you've got to pay with um, Alipay and which I'm going to show you. Yes, 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 please give me that roasted dog burrito wrap. Dangerously, all dangerously peckish. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> all right. Mmm, Chinese wrap. Never cease to amaze me. Mmm, oh yes, always yummy. Honestly, why they never told me Chinese food here in China is this good? I mean, if you think the Chinese food back home in the UK is good, then coming here to China, you will find a new definition of good. Because you will be changed. I mean, you will be a changed man for life. And you will never go back to your old ways. Because here, you have discovered a new value of flavors. I think the owner forgot their, their glasses right there, so I don't think no one's going to take it. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I'm just going to ignore it. Everyone, don't touch people's stuff. Got our cameras everywhere. If you do that, you can get into trouble. Wow, this guy got a skill, mate. So sweet. Lovely. Look at this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm on a diet, trying to lose weight, less food for me, less pressure on the waistline for now. Daddy didn't raise no fool, wouldn't let her date a boy until he taught her how to shoot. Daddy didn't play no games, wouldn't let her train Listen, a name for it's all about the atmosphere for me. In China, yes, the people do stare, and they stare continuously. 
And if you're a foreigner and a foreigner who is black, chances are you are always on the spotlight. Beijing is a mega city and sometimes it takes time to maneuver. Even though the public transportation or the metro, should I say, is excellent, well, goddamn, it's so goddamn big, the Americans will say. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to people staring at me now. And let's say, if that bother you, maybe this place ain't for you. One thing I've realised here in China, you have to make a reservation, especially the capital of Beijing. About this place, you don't have to make a reservation here at the Lama Temple. Need to get a ticket. You got a ticket? Hello. Very fancy, elegant place. People wearing some nice costume, approaching the temple, and uh, it's a cool place. Only 25. Uh, I think I'm Chinese, Joanne, okay? The Yonka Temple, also known as the Lama Temple. Magical, magical place of worship. Everything I love about China is here. A place of peace and harmony. The girl, the girl, she's holding a stick right there. Hello, nice to meet you. And then, so basically, I think I can just put the thing. Is it you put the thing in there? I'm knowing this. How can something be so spiritually thrilling? Mesmerizing to watch. And I've seen many religions in my time, and all religions are different and unique in their own ways. And here people make wishes with something that looks more like a stick. You can just see the architecture and the construction of this temple. It's like a combination of the anchovies and the Tibetan. So you can see the hot work is really mesmerizing mate. Absolutely. It's bloody smoky mate. And uh I like it. This country is so massive and each let's say province you go, you'll see a sense of that. You you will actually see it. But it's the one province <coughs> so <coughs> so it's not the smoke right here. And uh, you tend to see that everywhere you go, I think, and if you go to Yunnan province, so that's where the culture, it's the cultural heart of, let's uh, say, hello mate, yeah again, you're always there, you've got to be in the shot a lot, yeah? <laughs> It's one of the largest Tibetan Buddhist monasteries in China. You see, the facade and the building and artwork is a combination of Han Chinese and Tibetan style, and it's one of the top tourist destinations in Beijing. Okay, I think I'm the Shudai here at the Lama Temple. Just wait in here. There's a zebra crossing, so. so. Oh boy! That, that was closed. That thing is too packed, over packed with bike over there. Dangerous. Ridiculously dangerous. Oh my god. Oh boy. China. Wow. The streets are insane in China, mate. I can't believe This is China. This is the real China. But away. I've seen similar things when I was in. Let's say in Thailand.
The Chinese are very, very hard working. They never stop working. They're always fixing the country. Jealous, absolutely jealous of China. And they're always there whenever. Hello there. Ni hao, hello. How are you? Fantastic. Aren't they lovely? They are jealous. The sort of thing I've got to say, like, I love, love the UK. I love my British people at times. But some of them are freaking dickhead, aren't you? And now, what I will say is, like, yeah. People are more relaxed when they got a camera, they don't mind. But if you whack a camera on a, on a British guy or a woman when they're not in the A game, guess what, man? They will flip. They'll be like, You normal? Are you alright? But that's not, that's not the case here. Yeah? yeah, I feel like I'm a star, a superstar walking with so much, let's say, swagger. Huh? And of course, then these guys are fixing things, yeah. There we go, these guys. See, but this is the thing. This is why China, these guys are the engine of China, hence why China is all the way there. If I'm not too wrong, I think they call this place the Ho Hai Lake. Hu Wei! Hu Wei! <laughs> and even you see local Chinese, they go about taking pictures, they eat a lot, I mean, these people like to eat more. Uh, it, it blows the mind how they stay so thin, so slim, so skinny, you know, why is for me, even though I eat, like let's say, egg in the morning, right, with some cereal, basically western boring stuff, right, and then still I'm freaking chubby, but honestly, like the nightlife in China, Let's say, let's have a question mark right now. Of course, the star in the daytime lives vibrant. It's always things happening. And I'm constantly smiling, my cheekbone is aching. I mean, it's mad, what a place. What a freaking place. I'm exhausted. Being black in China, let me tell you something. It is exhausting. I want this little boy right now, even though I'm tired, he wanna say hi. Hello. And I can't just not smile for babies. I just can't. I can't help myself. I love kids. It reminds me of my little brother, really. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Very, very nice. Look at this. So cute. Hello, what's your name? My name is Oh, is it cool? What's happened to your hands there? Yeah. I made my way to the whole highlight where you will find bars and of course, live music, and Chinese are loose and free to enjoy themselves in the evening in a safe and beautiful place many people never get a chance to see. Yeah, this is the China I fell in love with. Surely, it's lively, I've got to say that. 